All right. Someone commented in my video saying that this sword was a thing. I did not know this sword was a thing. So I went and bought one for 5 chaos. I hit it with a couple of things to get something just mildly usable. Uh, tier 3 fizz, attack speed, and I crafted physical damage on this little sword here. So now all my critical strikes are ignoring elemental resistances that is a lot of extra damage it's like being an inquisitor and a berserker at the same time doesn't quite work just yet but i'm running some wonky ass shit here i'm running this bad boy mr harmony to give me 348 percent increased critical strike chance in conjunction with the sword mastery to give me another 120 with the minus 20 to critical strike multiplier, which we don't really care about because we are also running elemental overload. So we're critting, getting 40% more elemental damage with my hits and then ignoring elemental resistances of enemies. It seems like a pretty good idea. It's going okay. I still can't quite have the survivability uh, to do tier 16 with my berserker, at least not stably. Uh, when I get to run into enemies that are from the ice, what are those guys called? Ba -ba -ba. Uh, uh, uh. Imprisoned essence monsters are very difficult and they tend to always scomp my ass. So let's do a tier 12 because I don't have any of these big boy maps. Uh, arcade. Tier 12. Let's take a look at how I am doing. Obviously that sword is not the best roll. I'm going to buy another one. And try to start crafting a secondary one as I use this as my primary. And once I start crafting the secondary, uh, I could get some better damage. I'm still using these gloves. These are like the first gloves I found. They have 100 life with a double life roll. Not the best, but you know, I like it. These are the boots that I have. I've had them for a while. Not the best boots, but they got uh, life regeneration rate, fire res, movement speed, cold, and lightning. With a 5% movement speed modifier that I slapped on there with a the little red guy. So that's what's going on. That is what is happening. These belt here is just to give me the resistances I need and nothing else. Hit a double res and then put a life on it. That's it. Ring, nothing special. Ring, a little bit special. Lightning damage is great. Uh, rarity is pretty nice. I intend to probably use this ring here. Right here, to give me that 50% rarity of items dropped by enemies killed with critical strikes. Now that I'm doing a very high critical strike chance, I believe it's about 72% chance to critical strike to critically strike when i get a better weapon that has more crit strike chance on the base it's going to increase my critical strike chance a ton i am rocking a uh, mark on hit with uh assassin mark the multiplier is a bit wasted but the critical strike chance is applied to very special elite enemies which uh increases my chance to penetrate their resistances now smite got a nerf uh, i was sitting there playing smite it had 40% more attack speed than it should have, and it felt absolutely incredible. I was slamming down Smite so fast, and then they fucking nerfed it. Midway through, I was playing it. I did one map, and my attack speed was ridiculous. I did another map, and it was busted. So, uh, felt bad. I was running a lot of mates. I was running Brain Rattler for a while. I was running, uh, Augur... I didn't read the mods. Uh, I think I just got hit. I think I just got hit. I was running uh, Augries, which is that. Nope, I no longer have it. It's in my it's in my stash. I was running that, and they were doing pretty well. Um, but I need a way to get to end the game. Obviously, I found it. Not obviously, I found a divine. But I found a divine. I'm saving it for probably some kind of badass six link chess piece to path out of bringer of rain bringer uh, let's check this out so these guys it's only a tier 12 so he's 
dying pretty quickly. Oh, maybe it's my reflect physical damage that's killing me. So I just got wrecked again. But that's the life of a berserker. Life of a berserker is you just kind of die sometimes. Uh, in game build, I'm going to switch to a jug and get dummy thick with the juggernaut. Um, I don't know exactly what chess piece I'm going to use. Laura Weave actually sounds really good. It's got added fizz. It's got added elemental. It's got added crit. It's going to set my uh, base resistance is 78 so I can refund a bunch of different uh, passives I have to give me more elemental resistances. Now let's try this again and hopefully I don't get wrecked like I did before. See how long it's taken? I should be wrecking that guy way faster than I do. But these guys have always been a problem for me a little bit. They're very strong. And the final rage passive I might be getting rid of before I switch to a jug. Because the triple rage is nice, but that life regen, uh, life degen, is extremely potent. And I dislike it. I think I might just maybe repath and just get a bunch more life. Because I'm already taking forever to kill people. And enemies with this mod fucking suck. So I'm taking a while to kill people as is. So you see the single target kind of blows. It feels like... Uh, Smoot is a little busted for a uh, single target. And by busted, I mean in a bad way. It's not super strong for single target. Multi-target, it's real strong. It feels super good to use, too. Mapping with this is actually really fun. I slam down the Smoots. The uh, range is a little un inconsistent as well. Sometimes you can hit from farther away. Other times you can't. That is obviously from the curses that I have on me. But as you can see, it's a, it's a berserker life for sure. I'm dying all over the place. I made it to level 90, uh, mostly with the support of my cold dot brother, who is building a real build instead of this fucking janky meme thing. You can see when I do not crit or when I miss. I'm either missing or not critting. What is my chance to hit? Let me, let me look at my smoot. Chance to hit, 98%, so I should be hitting, 75% chance to crit, between 75 and 71. So that is a 70% chance to do probably like 90% more damage. Uh, I could put a crit flask on, which I keep talking about, but I haven't done it yet. The damage really starts to increase once you get up to the 70 range of uh, Berserk. Well, that's when the degen starts. Look at my life. It's just not going up. Could be because I'm getting hit with bleed. I don't really have too much of a defense against bleed aside from steel skin on the left click. And I'm not sure if uh, the paths I took to get here are stronger or weaker. Uh, it'll definitely be improved once I get a better weapon. I don't want lightning damage on the weapon. I just want a pure fizz because I'm doing a whole lot of converting. And all my fizz damage is basically pointless when I have lightning damage. Because the, the fizz damage doesn't pump up the lightning damage. And I'm on the left side of the tree instead of the right side of the tree. So everything is physical damage with the swords and not attack damage. See, I'm just getting wrecked. I don't want to have to engage with mechanics or fight enemies. I want to just be able to slam shit down and kill everything because I am a berserker. Uh, but this smoot is not working well. And with this sword, I can't use a shockwave cyclone, which is the next option for me. Uh, so I am in a bit of a pickle. So I think I'm going to have to just farm mid-tier maps until I get enough currency to either re-roll as a jug so I can be tanky enough to handle some of this in-game shit. Or to get me a six link so I can path out of Bringer of Rain. Uh, in terms of a starter, see I just uh, instantly dead. 
in terms of, well, I am using grays instead of purity of elements, so my resistance, oh no, my resistances are good. I am getting cursed, and I have some weird curse on me. I don't know what the color of that one is. Despair, probably. Oh, no, temporal change. Chains. Uh, but as you can see, I am just handedly getting wrecked over and over. Over and over and over. Like it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Now the new league mechanic, uh, Smite works okay against it because I can have a little bit of mobility with it. But it's not the best. With the new the league mechanic, I can do this right here. Just hit and run. I'm not sure how I feel about the league mechanic. So far, I am quite negative on it. And thank god I'm done with the map and uh, I don't have to uh, pretend that I like this build. Now for a starter, Smoot was working pretty well. I was hoping to get to low tier reds super easy, which I did. Uh, and I knew I'd struggle towards high tier reds. Which I am. And uh, I was hoping by this point I would have found way more currency than I have. Currency has been a bit lackluster. I have one divine. And I, I used a bunch of chaos to kind of buy this and just kind of set everything else up. I bought some regrets with some chaos. But I got the one divine so far. So uh, I don't exactly know the plan to move forward. Uh, but getting a six link of some sort. Gonna be probably the next step. Six link body armor, then I can get a different chest, a uh, different helmet, and hopefully I can get to like 6,500 life. Maybe that will uh, save my bacon. Uh, I could path out of some of this stuff, like maybe these two handers, especially as I don't have any weapon and this physical damage is being split. And it's only applying to that top part, not the bottom part. That elemental damage doesn't really do much when you're pumping up a bunch of physical damage like this. So I could path out of some of that. I could path out of that. And I can just add a bunch of life. I got some life here. I could path here to get this life nodes. I can even just pump all these life nodes up. And just get a bunch of life. And hope that that regen helps me out. Um, we will see. That is all. The build is a D. This was a D for a starter. Now, compared to my last build, which was a Poison Reeve build, that was an S. That was about as good as you can get. Uh, Wasness, Covenant. Covenant, I guess, wasn't a part of the starter. Stada. The Wasness and the Bringer Rain is all you really needed to do T16. I was slamming out T16, clearing Mavens, clearing Siriuses, clearing Elder, clearing <laughs> Shaper doing all content in game off of like 10 to 20 c last league now technically this is about a 10 to 20 c build here this sword was 5 c and i spent probably just a couple of essences to get it i hit uh, physical damage essence i believe no i hit lightning damage essence to get this one just because that was the essence i had right there at the top uh, lightning damage is an essence. So I hit it with an essence and then got this. So we're looking at uh, like a 5 to 20 C build here. None of this shit is particularly that strong. So for 10 C to 20 C, this is a relatively strong build. But it's about the exact same price as the Reeve Poison uh, Nightblade build, and that blew this out of the water. So this is like a D starter. It got me to kind of where I needed to be. I would like to go a little farther. I need to cover this chest. I need to get a little tanky. I need to get some thickness. So I don't just instantly die in these maps. Now I am pretty tanky. And I kind of thought I wasn't going to die as easy as I'm dying. I got grace and determination. Defenses are pretty good. 51 evade. 60 physical damage reduction but any elemental damage that hits me despite being at 77 resistances across the board any elemental damage that just looks in my direction absolutely kills me almost instantly and um i think i might be dying a little to this too uh the reflect damage is hitting me uh, i think it's going right on through and wrecking my socks off 
I need the regrets, which I don't have just yet. I'm going to path out of here, and since I am now critting, I'm going to go over to here. The crit strike chance is useful. The 20 to 30 physical damage is useful, but that multiplier is kind of wasted. And I might even pop out of here, and uh, I'll be getting stunned, which will suck, uh, but I can path into my pantheon to get rid of stun locks, but I'll still be getting stunned. Kind of thinking of getting rid of the triple effect of rage, which does suck because I'm grabbing this rage node here to get another 10 because this uh, strikes nearby enemies plus one is right there. And that's really good to grab for that mastery. I could grab that elsewhere. I don't know where. I could grab it here, but I'm already uh, splashing, so this is a wasted node to get tribal fury from this attack mastery. And the next attack mastery is here I could grab, or over here I could grab. And I don't want to grab that because, again, it's physical damage, not elemental. So this is just attack damage. I have this anointed because this is the only way I can get me some leech, is by anointing that. I, could, I was pathing all the way over here to waste one, two, three, four nodes just to get this attack leech. And that was a bit wasted. Now, I could go down this way, grab these, get the socket, and then it's still three nodes. So there's no pretty way to get over here to get that. Now, I could do 90% elemental damage by coming up here and getting this lightning mastery node, which is one, two, three, four intelligence nodes a wasted. Um, get those lightning mastery nodes. And then I would go on the right side here to increase the effect of shock, which might be a good idea. And then here I can do a 40% physical convert. And I could get rid of this physical to lightning support. And then I'll be doing 90% physical damage, 10%, I mean 10% physical, 90% elemental. So then I can do physical leech. So I can probably just grab like this node here to do some physical leech. Um... Or maybe even this node over here, or this node over here. And I can do a lot better leech with physical. I can get mana and regular leech. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go that route. Simply because my elemental damage ignores whenever I crit. And I want to do as much elemental damage as possible, which means 100% lightning. It is difficult. I could, I could grab that node anyways and then do lightning damage as lucky. But Smoot isn't quite like uh, Arc or anything like that. Because Smite's high and low is much uh, closer. The aura you get is 17 to 330. But the base damage is not doesn't have that big discrepancy between high and low. Now I could grab the... What kind of coil is that? Roth Loss's coil. Which will increase my more damage and decrease my less damage. And then get lucky lightning damage. And that lucky lightning damage might be pretty good. But I would need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 nodes. Because obviously I'm going to get these if I'm in the defendant's vicinity. So I'll need 12 nodes. So there's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Twelve, and then path into the lightning. Not sure that's a good idea. Now I could only go here and miss out on this cast speed, which does nothing. Uh, which actually might be a pretty good option because that's only one, two, three, four, five nodes to get a lightning mastery node. But I'm missing out on this cast speed, and I had uh, done it out on the cast speed. Doesn't seem opportune. Does not seem great. I wish this one had a mastery attached to it. Of course, it'd probably be an elemental mastery instead of a lightning mastery. And I wish I could get over way over this way for this lightning node. But I can't get over this way. That's way too far away as a berserker. Now, playing this build, uh, initially wanted to use Frozen Legion. And I did use Frozen Legion. And it sucks donkey balls frozen legion is terrible so i've given up on the frozen legion attempt 
uh, and since I've given up on the Frozen Legion attempt, the Raider would have been a much better choice as a class. The Raider would have been able to ignore resistances better, so I wouldn't even have to use his sword. Uh, and I'd be more zoom zoom, I'd be tankier, I'd have spell suppress. Uh, Raider, much better option than Berserker. Berserker, I mean, this 40% more damage isn't quite making up for the 10% increased damage taken. Berserker, not exactly up to scuff. Need to switch it to a jug to be thick, to be glorious. Jug probably has better hair, too. I mean, his hair is pretty good, but the jug's hair is going to be better. It's going to be Val Sassoon on that hair. Uh, that is day two recap. I am out.